Hey guys, so today's video is a little bit different. I'm actually going to be doing a nursery tour. I've told you guys I was going to do this um, both on this channel and also on my vlog channel where I've been doing pregnancy updates throughout my whole pregnancy. So if you guys haven't seen those and you want to see more of like the process of doing the nursery, what it looked like before and things like that, um, we haven't actually done that much to it. I have to say we haven't wallpapered it. A lot of people ask about the wallpaper. I don't actually know where it's from because it was here when we moved in. So um, yeah, we've kind of just left that, but we have had like new carpet and lights and things in here. So um, yeah, I'm going to do a nursery tour for you all. In case you're wondering, I have a couple of weeks left of the baby arrives. Um, there's a few things that aren't finished in here, but I wanted to film this video just because I'm slowing down towards the end of my pregnancy, obviously. Um, things get harder when you get really big. Um, so I've got about two weeks left, and there's obviously Christmas in between now and then as well, so um, I am taking it a little bit easier. So I'm filming it a couple of weeks before um, the baby, and also there's a few things that aren't finished, but I'll tell you about that as I go around. So let's do it, guys. Let's take you on a little tour. So this is the door that you come in from, from the hallway, which is next to our bedroom. And and as you look into the room, this is what it looks like. There's this kind of like curved wall. Um, it's like a little corridor. And actually this room is a really funny shape and it works perfectly for a nursery, not that well for a bedroom because this whole wall is um, built in storage. So you can't actually put a bed against this wall unless you want to get rid of the storage, which obviously I don't because it's really useful. Um, and then you also have the space here, which is where the bed goes. But as you can see, this is a standard single size bed. Um, and if you were to put a double in here, it would come over the window and over the radiator and you also can't put bedside tables in. So it's kind of an awkward shaped room, um, but it works so, so well as a nursery. Um, I'm so happy with it. The wallpaper, as I said, was here before. It's a really beautiful kind of floral baby blue perhaps more traditional than I would have chosen. I'm so boring when it comes to paint work. I usually just go for grey, but I'm kind of happy because I think it works so nicely as a nursery. So we have this big mirror above. Um, this day bed is obviously not the baby's bed. This was in here before and we decided to keep it just because it's quite useful to have. It's effectively a sofa in the daytime, but you can also, it turns into a bed and then it also has um, an extra bed underneath it, another single bed that comes out. And so it turns into like a super king bed or two singles, so if you need the space, we can also sleep in here, or if I'm getting sleepless nights and have to come and sleep in here with the baby, that might also happen. Um, the mirror is from HomeSense quite a long time ago, it's not a recent purchase, this was in our old house, in my office I believe actually. Um, and then this is the bed, so as you can see, it's kind of set up, it, it just goes with um, the carpet, so the, car the carpet is new, like I said, it's like a cream carpet, um, and the cream metal bed. This this poof I actually bought to use as a footstool with the armchair, which I'll show you in a minute, but it's too high. And I was going to send it back, but I put it here in the meantime, and it actually works out really nicely because it means you can kind of sit here and put your feet up or however you want. And I really love it. This is from Graham and Green, and it has um, like really lovely embellishments and stuff on it as well. Um, I feel like I don't know if this is going to be baby friendly once she starts kind of toddling about, but we can always move it. Um, she's obviously not going to be doing that for a while. And then the bedding on the bed is beautiful. I love this throw so much. It's the perfect colour for in here as well uh, with the wallpaper. This is from Christy, as are these cushions, these little... Um, rectangular ones these are just the pillows for the bed i think these ones were from bhs before it closed down um we've got a little teddy bear on here which is from my first years it says baby deforce squidge keeps coming in here and stealing this which i think might be a problem i think she might have to have it at some point because she always picks the same one she just takes it um this was actually i don't know where this one came from that's a personalized cushion for my mum. it says her name on it i've turned it around so you can't see it um these ones are bhs bhs and then these two little dudes this is a zazu like baby soother thing it makes kind of like heartbeat sounds and stuff but i also have squidge has also been stealing this one as well i also have um the you and the dream sheep and i think that's the one we're probably going to use because it seems a lot easier to kind of use um and then this guy is a little sausage dog the theme in this room is kind of that blue grey colour but also there's pops of this kind of mustard yellow as well which I really like so he was from Scandiborn and then I've also got a little blanket on the end here this I don't I just put this here when I got it and I really like it there I don't know why this was a gift for my birthday from my brother so um it might get used like in her pram or whatever but 
um, it might just stay there. So yeah, that is the bed. And then if you come over here, you can see we've got these faux sheepskin, like fluffy rugs, which the dogs are obsessed with. It's really quite annoying. They always come in here and try and roll around on them. Um, but they're just super, super cozy on the feet. As you can see, we have a window here and um, with the radiator. This picture frame is actually a really beautiful antique silver picture frame that my mum gave me um, for my birthday this year. Yes, it was for my birthday this year. And I'm gonna put the first photo of us and our little baby in there um, when she's born. So that's why it's empty for the moment. And then I have this box, which I got sent from a brand like through work at some point and I can't remember. I think it was maybe Maria Neela, I can't remember. Um, but I just thought it'd be a nice little like memory box or something to pop little bits and bobs in. I do want to get a toy chest for this area here, but I actually haven't gotten around to getting it yet. And obviously she's not gonna have many toys in the beginning. So I feel like that's something that I can get at a later date, but I do feel like it looks, if I go back, it looks quite sparse there. Um, and then this end of the room, I'm actually super, super happy with. Um, this is the kind of more finished end of the room. I did also want to get something for this wall, um, a print, but I never got around to it. Um, maybe I will in the next few weeks, who knows. Um, so this end of the room is where we've done a little bit more kind of like babyifying. It looks a little bit more like a nursery. Um, so we've got a new armchair. This is from Loaf and I believe it's in the Clever Velvet Lagoon colour. It's not actually as comfortable as it looks. I bought it because I thought it would be good for kind of chilling in, breastfeeding. It's got like the low arms. So um, yeah, anyway, I really like it. And then the cushions, as I was saying about the pops of mustard, this is from HomeSense. This guy is from Scandiborn and so is this guy as well same as the little sausage dog one and then the throw is an old one from home sense i've had for a very very long time just put that in there i thought it was quite cute and then i have this table i love this table it's from graham and green again it's got like honeycomb design and then the white marble on the top and my crazy flamingo lamp as you guys can see it's snowing outside right now it's actually quite good because we have this um little grow egg thing set up telling us the temperature and it's quite good to work out when the heating's not on and it's really cold outside how cold it's been so I've had that set up for a few weeks so I can work out how to get to the right temperature in the room like with the like heating and stuff I think it's actually going to be quite good because it's quite a cold room like it's 15.7 degrees now which is a tiny 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 bit cold they say like 16 to 20 is ideal but it's snowing outside and the heating's not on so anyway uh, the flamingo lamp is from graham and green as well fully aware that this is not very baby proof once she starts toddling so it will be moved don't worry guys but for the moment i just think it looks really cute with the little chair um and then on here we have like i said the grow egg like thermometer we have this little oh actually this needs to come out of here there's two of these in here these i got from my friend libby for my baby shower I just think they're very, very cute. I don't know what I'm going to store in them. Little trinkets, but they're quite cute. Again, once she starts grabbing stuff, they'll probably have to go on a shelf. But for the time being, they look nice. And then there's a picture of me and Mike from the first night we met on there as well. Um, and then on the windowsill, I have um, some cards from my baby shower that will obviously go um, when she's here. But um, I just put them up there for the time being. And then some books on the uh, windowsill as well that are quite heavy that I didn't want to put on the bookshelf just in case they fell off. Um, so there's the Beatrix Potter complete set. It's also some of the like um, milestone cards. I'm not sure if I'm going to do those. I don't think I'm going to share them publicly, but I might do them for like my personal thing. And then I've also got the Winnie the Pooh. Um, complete collection which I actually got given as a gift from my godmother how cool is that I'm so looking forward to reading her those one day and then as you can see the cot is here the cot is actually the stocke um, sleepy mini this is in the smallest form it extends and extends and extends until it gets into a single bed size um, I don't know if she'll actually ever sleep in it this size this is obviously just for show like you don't put babies with lots of teddies and stuff um i'm aware of that guys i don't need i don't need the comments don't worry i know that she's not going to sleep in here with those teddies um but it's kind of for show she's going to sleep in our room for the first while so um i just really wanted to have like a cute little cot in here for her until she is big enough to come and sleep in her own room and she'll probably have the extenders in by then so it'll still look similar it will just be slightly bigger but how cute is this i mean it's the cutest little cot ever and it's got the little drapes this mobile is the one thing actually um this is from scandyborn but it's not um an actual like working mobile it's just like a dangly like decoration so i don't know whether i'm going to get her mobile or not 
Um, I'll probably wait until she's like a few months old and see if we need one or whatever. So um, that is her cot. As you can see, I've got all of the teddies in there. She's got the jelly cat unicorn, which I love. And she's got my little fox that I bought her. Another unicorn, a little flamingo that was another gift from my baby shower. Lots of cute little things. Um, and her little... Um, like musical bunny rabbit as well which I bought her and then up here on the shelf you'll be able to see I've got some paper stuck over these pictures that's because they're personalized with her name and I don't want to tell you her name until she's born because it, well I just for superstitious reasons like I just don't want to tell you until she's here so I've got a few things on these shelves the shelves again are from Graham and Green um, they are white marble but they're not massively um, deep, which is why I didn't want to put super heavy books on the top shelf in case they fall off. Obviously when she is sleeping in here I'm probably going to put the cot slightly further this way so she's away from the shelves as well in case anything falls on her. Um, but at the moment uh, this is the setup we've got. We've got some books up here. These were mainly baby shower gifts. Illustration from my friend's mum, um, which again is personalised so I've stuck a little piece of paper over it. A little flamingo toy. Then we've got a picture of me and Mike on our wedding day. Some of the little baby shoes my mum bought me for my baby shower and also some jelly cat bunnies another personalized thing with her name on it this is a candle I actually haven't lit this and I'm not planning on lighting it but it smells really nice in this room because it hadn't really been used um, before it wasn't really used very much occasionally as a guest room um, it smelled a bit fusty so I just put the candle in there and now it smells really nice like kind of vanilla -y. so um, it's not going to be lit I'll probably take it out as well if she comes when she comes to sleep in here so yeah that is it for the little setup there and then I wanted to show you my favorite part which is her wardrobe so this cupboard here is actually where we store um, all of the towels for the house which at the moment we don't need this storage for her it's gonna this is gonna stay as a towel cupboard unless we need um, the space for her eventually but I'm gonna open up these doors and show you one of the things that we haven't finished are the door handles we can't find door handles that we like with a deep enough thread because these are actually quite thick wooden doors so that is still on the to-do list but we shall see so this is the setup in here and if I step back I'll probably be able to show you all together there's amazing storage in here and I absolutely love love it so as you can see We've got pretty much everything set up, which is why there's no changing table in here and there's also no chest of drawers or anything like that because the storage is awesome. Um, so starting on this hand side, obviously we've got um, a sink and a mirror, hello. <laughs> um, and yeah, this actually is not quite finished yet. We have the decorator coming tomorrow, I believe, to who is actually decorating a bathroom, but she's gonna paint um, the bottom of this and also the bottom of these shelves as well because they're not painted. Um, and I was gonna tile under there, but then we just thought, there's no real point like it's not like a bathroom so we're just going to paint it the same color as everything else and cream um, and all the shelves need to be painted too and then next door to that we've got her main kind of storage like clothing area as you can see she has got a lot of clothes I've had quite a lot of hand-me-downs I've been sent a lot of clothes I've been super super lucky so um, I'm hoping that she will wear everything but we shall see I've had so many comments from you guys being like she won't wear all of that blah blah we'll see if not I can donate them or sell them for charity or something so um, all the ones that I have bought she will be wearing for sure um, so yeah I'm gonna start off if this is also bear in mind this goes from newborn to about a year old so it's not just like all for when she's first born I'm gonna start off on this side at the top here there's that's just like um, a travel bag thing that I put in there that's a spare play mat that we will use eventually but obviously it's up there for the time she's not born yet so it's gonna stay there that is the Cybex um, Yemma baby carrier like the wrap that we have that will be used as well but it's being stored up there and then here this is like the first rail I was gonna remove this rail because we have the little changing area in there but it's actually quite useful so for the moment I'm gonna leave it there we'll see in terms of like obviously this will be enough space to change a baby in like she's only gonna be small to start off with but we'll see how it goes to be honest we've got a little changing station in our bedroom as well because that's where she's gonna be sleeping and stuff and um I've also bought like a little changing mat for downstairs too so I don't have to come upstairs all the time when I want to change it so um we'll see We'll see what happens. In here, we've got three little sleeping bags. These are like newborn size sleeping bags that she'll be sleeping in. I think we're gonna swaddle her for the first week or so. And um, we'll see, again, like like I said, we'll see how it goes. But um, based on like the recommendations we've been given, these are really, really good as well. This one is beautiful as a present from my friend Bella. And then these ones are baby Maury ones. Then we have newborn clothes. So I've got all the 
like more formal clothes hung up and then I've got baby grows folded up. So this is the newborn size section. She obviously doesn't have a huge amount in here because she's not going to be in these for very long. So she's only got a couple of things. This was actually a gift from my mum. She's got like a little bear suit. Obviously she's a winter baby, so she's got quite a lot of warm, cozy clothes. Then this next section here is naught to three months. A lot of these things you guys will have seen in videos. She's got a lot of red and black and white in her naught to three month wardrobe but it's just very very cute little outfits i love this one this one's from the white company little jumper dress from gap that was from my mum again and then she's got her snowsuits in here as well she actually has three snowsuits now this was the original one that i first bought her from mums and poppers and then i bought her a little penguin outfit as well i'm hoping it's going to be still cold when she's born it's snowing this week and then this was a gift from a lovely subscriber who sent it over to my management offices in uh from america how cute is that it says baby divorce so she has three um she has three little snowsuits um so that's like the first section then down here I've just kept, there's actually not a huge amount of interesting stuff, there's a cut, two breast pumps which I've been sent, I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or not, obviously I don't know yet in terms of breastfeeding and bottle feeding and how I'll get on and what I'll use and all of that, so we'll see, I've left them in the boxes, there's a few, in here I've got like dummies, um, I know there's not dummies in there, that's random stuff, they're like little projectors in here, there's dummies and breast pads and things that I don't know when like they're extras, obviously I have breast pads to take to hospital and stuff, but they're just like extra stuff for me and baby that I don't know when we'll use. In the bottom I've got a lot of like baby toiletry products, so a balm, baby oil, nappy cream, things like that, most of which I've been sent from various different brands, so I don't know, the one. Well, obviously when I'm using them they'll go in the bathroom, but for the moment I'm just storing them in there, and this little thing came from Ikea, so it's like a divider so that is there and then i've got a bumper pack of water wipes as well in there so those are all i'm gonna try and get up again <laughs> they're all in there so that's the first cupboard then in the second cupboard we've got all of the hanging clothes for three to six months six to nine months and nine to twelve months so most of these from here to about here i think are actually three to six she does have a lot of three to six and then she's got six to nine, and then these last two things I think are, um, or actually six to 12. That one's six to 12, which is a weird sizing, it's their gap, those two. Um, so yeah, basically this is like three months to a year um, in terms of hanging clothes. And I've also tried to kind of divide them into types. So as you can see at the front of here, you've got all of her knitwear, then we've got um, little tops and then dresses, and then it goes into, warm clothes again so like a little raincoat and then the larger size knitwear and then dresses and then there's a coat and a dressing gown at the end as well so yeah that's all her hanging clothes and then down here I've divided things up mainly by age group so these little storage containers are from Ikea in this one I've got all of the newborn size clothes so a lot of her she does have more baby grows in this but most of her baby grows in newborn size or in her hospital bag. Um, she also has, these are like vests, like printed vests. There's a jumper there. There's also some like little two pieces and then some extra baby grows. The Darth Vader one I sold Mike, she's allowed to wear when she gets home, but not in hospital. <laughs> um, and then in this middle section here, these buckets I got from uh, Home Sense, oh no, TK Maxx actually, and this has plain white vests in it. So these ones at the top are long sleeved. These are all just from Primark. And then I also have, um, and they go into bigger sizes as well. And then I also have loads rolled up in there. So they're like plain vests. Um, and then this, <laughs> this, this basket is overloading. She has a lot of baby grows for naught to three months. Um, so she's got baby grows, vests, leggings, jumpers, just things that like I probably wouldn't hang up in there. And then this one is age three to six. Again, she's got quite a lot of stuff for three to six. And then I've got muslin cloths in here. I actually have more than these, but some of them are in the hospital bag. Again, this is from my first years. And then this is her six to nine month um, drawer. She's only got a couple of things in here. Obviously, it's quite a long time away. But most of them were gifts, actually. So um, she's got a few baby grows and sleep suits and things. And a swimming costume, because it will be summer then. And this is one of the first things Mike bought her as well as the little jumper with the foxes and the badges on it um, and then I have um, nine to twelve months there's just one baby grow in there which I got from uh, Bond Point in Vista I love this baby grow so much it says to the moon and back on the collar 
I wanted to get it in a newborn size for her to wear as her first outfit, but they didn't have it, so I got a big one instead so she can wear it next winter or next autumn. And then these are swaddle blankets, and yeah, actually they're all swaddle blankets. Some of them are just extra, extra large, these big ones. This one will be where the kind of 12 to 18 month baby grows go, but I don't have any yet because it's a long time away. And then the next one down, this is kind of like accessories, so she has lots of things in here. The little knickers that go under some of her smarter dresses are in here. This is all bibs. So there's quite a few little different bibs there, and then there's hats here. So there's like fuzzy hats, there's more like just kind of um, jersey hats. A lot of them come with baby grows, like with outfits in a set. Obviously as well, she's a winter baby, so she'll probably wear quite a lot of hats. Um, and then I've also got a few of these kind of like comforter things. Actually, I think all of these were gifts. I think I've got three of those. Um, really cute. They're all really soft. But again, she probably won't want those for a little while. So they're not coming with me <laughs> to hospital. And then I have tights in here. These range from like newborn to a year old. Um, again, graduated from like smaller to larger. You can kind of see the size difference in real life. I don't know if it shows up that much on camera. Um, but they're tights and then there's socks in here. Most of her socks are coming to hospital. She doesn't have a huge amount of socks. And then down the bottom, uh, this is like sh spare sheets and stuff. So these are the stocke, um there's a bumper which I I don't know if I ever use it. You're not supposed to use bumpers or they don't advise you to because of cot death. So I have it. So I kind of I wanted to put it on because it looks pretty and then take it off when she actually sleeps in there, but I haven't so far. Then there's um fitted sheets for the bigger size when she actually goes up a size in the cot. This is spare blankets and sheets. So she's got um a couple of extra blankets again some of them are in the hospital bag and then an extra sheet for her snooze pod which is in our bedroom there's an extra cover for the changing mat as well which is from Ikea and then these are sleeping bags which I haven't actually opened yet I've been sent quite a few of these grow snug ones which I've heard really good things about because they are essentially like halfway in between swaddling and putting them in a sleeping bag so um there's a couple of those and there's a swaddle up one as well a lot of these were gifts, so we'll see how we get on, what she likes to sleep in, and then um, go from there with those. They're her sleepy things, and they go up again from newborn to, I think one of them is like up to three years. So um, she's got quite a lot of things in advance, <laughs> um, but that is kind of my organisational setup, and that is it for her nursery. So everything is pretty much stored in these three doors, so it makes it quite compact in here and quite clear. Um, there's not like a huge amount of stuff everywhere. But yeah, that is it for the nursery, guys. I hope you like it. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm very excited um, for the little one's arrival now. It just, it seems like things went so slowly in the beginning. In the first, like, eight months, things went so, so slowly. And then the last few weeks have flown past. And I still feel like I have a loads to do. Um, and it just, yeah, I'm like, oh my God, there's two weeks left. I need to do this, I need to do that. Um, but yeah, super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you very soon. Bye.